guys doing today? It's so good to see you. We miss you all so much. Today, I'm going to put the CD in and we're going to listen to this book that you all love so much, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. So come on over. Have a seat. Let's sing our song. Everybody have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. Everybody have a seat right on the floor, not on the ceiling, not on the walls. Everybody have a seat right on the floor. Okay. Of stars. But there are even more that we cannot see. Some stars are bright and some are dim. Some appear to twinkle. When you hear the chime, turn the page. gonna come and she's gonna read us another story about the going to the moon. Hi boys and girls, good to see you. I'm going to do our finger play zoom zoom zoom. Get your hands warmed up, here we go. Zoom zoom zoom, we're going to the moon. Zoom zoom zoom, we're going to the moon. Do you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off to the moon! And I have a great story about some boy and a little girl and a boy going to the moon. They use their imagination. It's a great story. The name of the story is Regards to the Man in the Moon by Ezra Jack Keats. Oh yeah. What's up, Louie? Why so sad? Barney asked. The kids are laughing at me. Laughing at you? Why? Well, come on, you can tell me. I'm your pop now. Well, Louie said, they call you the junk man. Junk? Barney growled. They should know better than to call this junk. All a person needs is some imagination. And a little of that stuff can take you right out of this world. What do you say, Louie? Want to give it a try? Boys and girls, let's look at all this stuff and see what he ends up putting together. Louie and his parents got to work. What's going on? The kids asked. I'm going out of this world, Louie answered. The kids snickered and nudged each other. Ha ha, is that Voyager 3? 
they laughed. No, he said. It's Imagination One. Well, don't run out of gas. Regards to the man in the moon, they kidded. Are you going out there all alone? Susie asked. Can I come with you, Louie? Can I? Well, that depends. Got lots of imagination? He asked. Oh, yes, she said. And, and I'll bring cookies, too. Mmm, okay. Be here early tomorrow. Here's the name, Imagination. The next morning, they climbed aboard. Ready when you are, Susie shouted. Okay then, yelled Louie. Blast off! They held their breath. <gasps> Boys and girls, you think your mom has one of those in her kitchen where she drains the spaghetti? <gasps> Baroom! Blast off! Way out in space, they opened their eyes. We did it, Susie gasped. <gasps> they stared down at planet Earth. Everybody we know is down there. And we're all alone up here. I'm scared. Me too, Louie whispered. They floated past strange and wondrous things. Boys and girls, what planet has rings? and on through worlds no one had ever seen before. Here they are. Suddenly, they were jolted to a halt. Help, help us! They heard familiar voices cry. Oh, I wonder who that could be. What is that? It was Ziggy and Ruthie. We decided to follow you, Ziggy cried. But we've used up all our imagination. We're stuck. We can't move. Don't untie us, please, or we'll never get home. Let go, Susie yelled, or we'll be stuck out here forever. You can only move on your own imagination. Let go, will ya? Louie cried. There's a rock storm heading this way. We'll be smashed to bits. They're not rocks. Can't you see? They're monsters, Ziggy moaned. They're coming to capture us. We'll never see home again. Monsters, Susie said. Now you're using your imagination. They began to move. You're doing fine now, Susie called. So let go. You'll do better on your own, so we will. But Ziggy and Ruthie were so scared, they just hung on. They ducked this way, and over and under, and upside down. Oh, finally, the storm passed, and they were headed for home. I wonder what this might have been that they passed. Wow, Ziggy jo joked nervously. Wasn't that fun? Yay, we sure scared those monsters, Ruthie bragged. Wish we could do it again. And they thought, Louie said, they used up all their imagination. They were getting close to home when Ziggy finally dropped the rope. Next day, they told everybody about their adventures. Soon, all the kids were ready to take off. Boys and girls, look at all this fun stuff. Maybe you can make a rocket ship today with things you have in your house. You can use your sofa, you can use boxes, you can get all kinds of cool things that you might have that you never thought you'd use, like a colander to put on your head, or maybe it will be a steering wheel. 
Use your imagination. And if you do it, send a picture to me. Have a great day. Bye.